Joining us today is Dr. Christopher Blanford from University of Manchester. Thank you, doctor, for joining us. You're on the MRS Postdoctoral Award Committee. You're a member of that committee. This is a relatively new award, so tell me more about it. So the MRS Postdoctoral Award Committee is entering its third year right now. Mm -hmm. We saw that there was a gap in the international awards for recognition of these postdoctoral people, these people who are between their PhD and maybe their first faculty position. Mm. And we wanted to fill in this gap so that the best and the brightest were getting the recognition that they deserved. And richly. So, so what are the criteria then for getting this award? So it's broadly defined. Somebody ne doesn't necessarily have to be the best in research. We could also be finding people who are excellent mentors, people who are advocates, amazing teachers, people who are doing something that's extraordinary in outreach. Now, what if you happen to know someone who fits that bill? How do we go about nominating someone for the MRS postdoctoral award? So what you would do is the person who chooses to nominate you will pick not only the awardee and write two pages on that, but they're also going to get two letters of support uh, from prominent members of the community who can say, why this person really stands out among the other postdocs that they know. And you mentioned it is a new award and it kind of fills the gap using your words. So why is it important then to recognize young scientists in what's for many an early stage of their career? Right, well we need to make sure that we're really distinguishing these people who, who, who stand out from the crowd. Because while you might have a thesis award for a PhD or these early career awards that come up later on, there seems to be a bit of a gap that we have for uh, making sure that the, the people who are not just the, uh, the excellent researchers, but the, the people who are the whole package going on into uh, a further career in academia are recognized. I can tell you're very passionate about this award. You're a member of the, the committee. You said three years now? This is the third year that we've entered into this. So we've just picked our seventh crop, uh, sorry, our fifth crop of candidates. And how does that go? How many people are nominated for this? And what's the process to winnow down to finally get that winner? Sure. So we, we see between 20 and 40 applications, depending on which meeting that we're picking for. And what we do is we independently, the members of the committee, rank these candidates as they come through. Uh, we fill them into a system and then discuss the top ranked candidates as a group. So somebody who might have originally been, say, number three or number two might end up making it right to the top based on sort of the back and forth we have as a, as a committee. Sure. Uh, since it is relatively new, I would imagine not a lot of people are aware of it at this point. So what is the committee doing to, to get the word out that, hey, there's a new award you may be eligible for? So it's word of mouth right now. We're putting things in the MRS bulletin and we're making sure that we know that we're, we're tapping the best postdocs who are out there and making sure that the supervisors know what's happening with now, this. Now, you mentioned how the nominations are evaluated, but we definitely want to hit on this. Are there any particular criteria that are viewed as critical to success for a nomination? Sure. We need to absolutely know that um, the reference letters and the nomination statements have nice specifics in there. Something that exemplifies them, sets them apart from the, from the rest of the team. Mm. I want to know that they're the full package on there. Tell me what they've done uh, that sets them apart. And finally, we need to know really, uh, especially in these larger groups where you've got teams of 30, 40 people all working on, on, on high impact papers, what was their individual contribution? And that's what's going to make sure that they know, uh, that we on the committee know that we've got somebody who's special. So you flushed out the award for us, what you're looking for as far as a nomination. If someone does know a person that fits this bill, where do they go? There's more information on a website? Sure, mentioned? absolutely. So on the MRS.org website, um, the, if you go forward slash postdoctoral award, or you can just Google for it and you'll find it there. And we take the nominations twice a year. Uh, the most recent one just closed on the 4th of November and we'll have one about six months after that. And Dr. Christopher Blanford, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. All right, take Pleasure care. to meet you.